I'm so living documents in 10 minutes. <laughs> All right. Eight. In eight minutes. I've already wasted two. Um, I'll, I'll present the tool. I'll give you an update on uh, the workshop we had at the um, Rich Medical Practice. Am I allowed to say Rich? Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll uh, give a word on the roadmap, uh, our plans. So this is the initial screen you get when you sign up for the first time for the Living Documents tool. <coughs> of course, you don't have a username, so I'll just sign in with mine. It's a real demo, yes. It's not a presentation. What is the unreal demo? A present <laughs> presentation. <laughs> a live shot. Okay. Okay. Um, so the tool is designed to provide you with an environment for a collaborative development of documents and creating discussions around it. The main end user for the living documents tool is the healthcare cluster and the clinicians, the GPs basically. Um, so I think it would be a better it would be better if I just tell you what we did in the last workshop that was that was um, last week. So I'll I'll tell you the scenarios um, so you get a better feeling of how people use it over there. What we did is that we had a four uh, a four hour workshop um, at the Ridge Medical Practice in Leeds, Bradford. We designed the workshop in a way to gather as much feedback as possible. So we presented the first 30 minutes, we, pre we presented the tool. I presented it with uh, three scenarios. Then we got initial feedback just on their first feeling with, with the tool. And then they played around with the tool for another 30 minutes with simple tasks. And we got better feedback. And then um, after the coffee break, they brought their documents and there was a real scenario and they came up actually with more scenarios and much richer feedback for the tool. So this is what happened last week. Um, basically, the scenarios were uh, were about creating a document and collaboratively editing it, editing it, and then having a discussion place. The first scenario was about developing a plan following an educational meeting. So let's say people at the Ridge Medical Practice they wanted to uh, uh, introduce a new service for the practice. We call it a dementia service, or just let's say any service. They wanted to introduce, introduce a new service to the practice, and they have they had the meeting, they discussed it, and now they have to develop a plan. What they did that the working group went to the living documents. You want them out? Oh, oh yes. Okay, so you, but this one is working as well. Thank you. Okay, so as we see, the working group for, for, for introducing the new service, they went to the living documents, they created a document, they called it Introducing New Dementia Service at the Ridge. When you open the document, you can see um, that people created, well, this is the content area where they have to develop the plan. This is the area for commenting, so people who don't want to edit the mature part or the or the main part of the document they still have a place where they can create a discussion around then you can have the replies and likes and facebook style uh, comments okay so this was the first scenario any questions Good. Um, second scenario was a bit similar to the first one <clears throat> It's about cascading learning from a training event. Somebody went, attended a training event, and then they came back. They want to cascade this learning with other people. Again, they went to the living documents. They created a document called <coughs> 15. London's training event, exactly. So, uh, yeah. They came back from the training event, they wrote down the highlights or what they learned, and then people started commenting on it. Um, this is what we did at the Ridge. I can quickly show you how to do this, so you also get a feeling of what happens. You go to the Documents tab, you say a new document. But I didn't do this. Okay. Yeah. 
Raymond meeting. Create the document. Let's say I'm a different person and then I create a comment. Okay, that's more or less about it. And then you have the document at the end. Um, so that's where we are, that's the tool. Uh, we got a lot of feedback from the clinicians. Uh, more or less, we, they know what they want. So uh, we we'll do a lot of changes to the UI. We we'll do a lot of changes um, to some of the functionalities. The design will look much cleaner than this because this is an edit, a document editing tool so they should just focus on the editing area. We will remove all the other stuff so it's not overwhelming. Okay, um, the last thing, our plans. Uh, we, are, we currently have plans to integrate this with an Intradoc because they already use Intradoc. Many of you know this that most of the <coughs> practices in north of England or no, right. in, the, in, the Bradford area. in the Bradford area are, are, uh, will have Intradoc soon and our plan is to introduce this within Intradoc. Well, to explain this a bit better, if you have seen Intradoc before, it's a um, web application intranet to manage practices and the UI is basically you have some tabs like the tabs I have over here and one of the tabs is called document and within this tab they will have our system so um, this from a scalability and sustainability point of view I think we're doing really good we'll have tens not hundreds of users this year 